What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode with my palace and Vice Pants. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Alex's Toy Show. It is one month into the baseball season. Uh, May 1st was earlier this weekend, and we are taking a look at the standings um, in each of the divisions and uh, maybe some leaders. We'll talk some leaders and see where it's going um, a month in. Now, back in spring training, um, I had picked in the National League either the Cubs or the Mets to to win the division, win, win the league. Hello. Um and in the American League, uh, I figure Kansas City would be in the race. Uh, the AL Central was looking pretty good between uh, the White Sox, Kansas City, and maybe Detroit. You know, I think I said. Um, the East was completely up for grabs. I mean, Toronto looked pretty good. And in the West, I don't remember who I said in the West. But I, I, think, I think it was going to come down to Kansas City, the White Sox, and the winner of the East. Um, now, I didn't say it was the Yankees. <laughs> My beloved Yankees, who are in the cellar in the East at 8-15, a 348 winning percentage, but they're only six games out of first place. Let's start with the AL East, huh? Uh, Baltimore and Boston, Toronto, and the and the Tampa Bay Rays. Here we go. Boston is in the lead. They are 15-10 with a 600 winning percentage. Baltimore, second place, 14-10, only a half game out. Uh, Toronto... Tampa Bay, and then, you know, you got the Yankees in the cellar. The AL Central, the White Sox, 18-8. and eight. I think they're the best team in baseball. No, no, no. Best team in the American League, though. All right, 18-8 and eight in the White Sox. Detroit, though, not too far behind. They are 14-10. and 10. They got a 583 winning percentage, just three games out. Uh, and Kansas City, 13-11, and 11, four games out. Uh, you got Cleveland, six games out. The Twins, ten and a half games out. The twins are the twins are hurting. Uh, if you look at the West, uh, you got Texas in first place. I would not have guessed that. Although I did go on about you Darvish's return, and it could it totally impact the uh, you know the league. And it looks like it looks like it did because I mean he's another quality starter in their in their rotation. Uh, Seattle, Seattle of all people, a half game out, thirteen and eleven. Oakland doing really well. Brian, one and a half games out. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, Angels and Houston. Houston, look at this. Houston and the Yankees, right? Both in the playoffs, the wild game card uh, to get into the playoffs last year. Both in the cellar of their divisions this year. How How is that a thing? That is why I say that anything can happen in baseball. Uh, let's hop over to the National League. Uh, National League East, you got the, uh, the Nationals. I would not have called the Nationals. They're back in spring training. I believe I used the word chaos to describe their their club. And someplace you didn't want to be. Um, but look at the Mets. The Mets are... What are the Mets doing? They're 15-8. and eight. They're one and a half games out as of this weekend. Uh, Phillies, 15-10. and 10. The Phillies, right? All of a sudden they have a club. Two and a half games out. Miami and Atlanta, 11 games out. Now I, now I remember saying Atlanta just didn't look like they had a prayer. Um, and there they are, 11 games out. Um, let's turn the camera a little bit this way so I can see the page and what I'm talking about. Uh, what are we doing here in the central? We got the Cubs, right? I can't, I can't read off the camera. The Cubs, uh, 17 and six. They're leading the central three games ahead, three game lead on the Pirates. Let's turn it back this way. Holy Jesus. Um, there you go. That's pretty good. Uh, St. Louis. Where's my St. Louis fans? I know there's a few of you out there. <laughs> right? Uh, St. Louis holding their own. And Cincinnati, Milwaukee in the cellar. Uh, eight and a half games out. Cincinnati, eight games out. Wow. Uh, look at the West, though. The Dodgers. I, I, it was gonna be, I said it was going to be hard to pick on, on the West. I, I had said it was going to be a tight race between the Dodgers, the Giants, and maybe Colorado. And here, look at this. The, the, the Dodgers, the Giants, and Colorado all tied for first place. And Arizona, a mere game and a half back. And San Diego, I mean, San Diego, three and a half back, but still just not in the picture, uh, as far as I'm concerned. In, in another month, that could turn to an easy 10 games out. Wow. Um, let's take a look at um, some, some performance uh, mentions, mentionables. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, we're going to do uh, e ERA leaders. 
these are guys that just don't give up runs. Here, here's a quick list in the American League. Jordan Zimmerman, right? Look at these guys. Steven Wright, bunch of bunch of guys under under two. Steven Wright, Felix Hernandez. What? Oh, it is no. I did say Felix. Oh, I'm sorry. Jose Quintana, Chris Sale. Chris Sale making a big deal. Tuan Walker and Matt Latos. Look at all these guys under under two in the American League. And then you got some guys in the National League all under two. Look at this. Jason Hamill, 075. Jake Arietta. Now these are my picks. If, like if the if the if the season were to end tomorrow, it would be Chris Sale and Jake Arietta for Cy Young Awards. Um Kenta Maeda, doing not too bad. Gio Gonzalez, Vince Velasquez, John Lester, Clayton Kershaw. You know those two guys. Um, and then on the back here, I did some some Cy Young action. Now, the Cy Young goes to the pitcher with, um, you know, the best overall performance in the season. But look at all this crap, right? I'm going to have to read this to you. Uh, Jake Arrieta, 5-0, an ERA of 1 in 5 starts, right? Uh, he's pitched 36 innings. He's only given up four whole runs this whole year. That's less than a run a game. Uh, he's got 10 walks, 32 strikeouts. Batters are hitting 151 off of him, and he's got a 078 whip. Johnny Cueto having a pretty good season with the Giants. He's 4-1, 265 ERA in five starts, 37.1 innings. He's given up 11 runs, five walks, 33 strikeouts. Batters are hitting 248 off him. Uh, his whip is 104. Uh, Carlos Martinez on the Cardinals. He's four and one, a 2.60 ERA in five starts, 34 innings, 10 runs, eight walks, 28 strikeouts. He uh, batters are hitting 184 off him, and uh, his WHIP is 0.89. These guys are just—I'm shocked. Steven Strasburg out of nowhere for the for the Washington Nationals. He's four and 0, 2.25 ERA in five starts, 36 innings, uh, nine runs, eight walks, 40. Strikeouts, 40. Uh, was he the leader? I think somebody had f a little more than 40. Crap. Um, but it, it's 40-something is the leader. Uh, 220 average, and uh, his whip is 1. 1 1.00. And Vince Velasquez on the Phillies. 4-1, and 144 ERA in 5 starts, 31 innings, 8 runs, 10 walks, 39 strikeouts. Right there in the race. Uh, batters are hitting 164, and uh, his whip is 089. Get a load of that. Uh, pause and read it, and I'm going to go to the uh, American League next. Right there. Right now. Um, all right, uh, Chris Sale is like my hands down best pitcher in the game right now. He's 6-0 in six starts. He's got a 166 ERA, 43 innings. He's given up a whole eight runs, um, nine walks. He's 38 strikeouts. Batters are hitting 171 off him, and uh, his whip is 081. Uh, Ricky Porce Porcello. Porcello. Um, I was about to say the Tigers, but he's on Detroit, uh, the Boston Red Sox now. He went to Boston. He's 5-0, 276 ERA in five starts, 32 innings, 10 runs, 6 walks, 36 strikeouts. Batters are hitting 200 off of him, and his whip is 092. Jordan Zimmerman is with Detroit, having a good season, 5-0, 0-55 ERA again. Let me mention that one more time, right? Five starts, uh, five and zero and five starts with an 055 ERA. He's given up four runs, like Jake Arrieta. That's less than a run a game. Um, 33 innings, four whole runs, seven walks, 23 strikeouts. Batters are hitting 224 off him. His WHIP is 106. And Matt Latos over on the White Sox. Latos and Chris Sale are 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 leading the uh, the White Sox to victory over there. Latos is four and zero, 184 ERA and five starts, 29 innings, six runs. Eight walks, 15 strikeouts, 218 batting average, and uh, his whip is 109. Here, get another load of that. Um, I'll hold it steady. There you go. That's where you want to pause and read it. Now, um, for uh, for batters, uh, pitchers get the Cy Young Award. Batters uh, looking at the Triple Crown. Triple Crown is a batting average leader, home run leader, and an RBI leader. When you're all three are the same person, that gets you the triple crown. Now we don't have any of that. <laughs> we don't have any of that going on. But over in the American League, uh, Nick Castellanos in uh, Detroit is batting 361, but he's only got four home runs and 18 RBIs. The the leaders 
uh, is Josh Donaldson with Toronto. He's got nine home runs, 21 RBIs. Robinson Cano with Seattle, eight home runs, 24 RBIs. But uh, Donaldson is only batting 293, and Cano is only batting 237. Uh, let's see if we can get a look at that, right? Here we go. Here's uh, here's Nick over here with his uh, impressive average. But then over on this side, you, you can see Donaldson and Cano's numbers, right? So that could really go either way. Uh, same in the National League. Um, you have Martin Prado. Where was Martin Prado last year? I don't even know. I think the year before, the Yankees kind of crapped him out. Um, and this Diaz guy in St. Louis, he's batting 405. Prado is batting 410. Now, very impressive to bat over 400, even though it's a month in. Um, Prado is, is batting 410, but he's got no home runs and only nine RBIs. Diaz is batting 405, four home runs, 13 RBIs. But the leaders... In the National League, Nolan Arenado in, Car in Colorado, 11 home runs, 25 RBIs. And and this Trevor Story kid in Colorado, <laughs> six home runs in the first week, in the first six games or something like that. This boy is on fire. He's on fire. Somebody get me an extinguisher. <laughs> right? Um. Anyway, Trevor Story, 10 home runs, 20 RBIs. So, oh, what were they batting? They weren't batting very much, though. Uh... Arenado was batting 305 and Story was batting 247. So 305 respectable, 247. You need you need a couple of good games to get in the race. Uh, so it doesn't look like we're having a triple crown in, in the National League either. Um, that's that. Uh, give that a pause and read. Now, as I said, anything can happen in baseball. This is only one month in. There's 162 games in the year. We got plenty to go. Um, there's the All-Star break. Anything anything can happen. There's trades. There's drafts. Anything can happen. Um, it's exciting for me. I hope it's exciting for you. And uh, that's all I got.